Hi everyone and welcome to Artsy with Moat, where we turn trash into treasure. Well, I can believe it's our last artsy segment of the season, and I have had a blast crafting with you guys, and hope you've made some fun stuff too. Well, for today's craft, I thought we would make a little wearable art, or a wearable craft. So we're going to be making our very own squid skirt. We're going to give ourselves some tentacles. Okay, and I thought, since summer is upon us, that at the end of the summer, you might have a couple extra of these lying around that you can turn into a tentacle. That is a pool noodle. So for today's craft, you need three pool noodles, okay? So preferably ones that have lived a good life out in a pool and now they're ready to be turned into a squid skirt, okay? <laughs> so you need that and then you also need something to represent the sucker discs, okay? So what I'm gonna use um, are bottle caps, okay? So Moat, we've been saving them for a long time from beach cleanups and um, recycling and all that. We've been saving our bottle caps, okay? So it might take you a little while to save these. You could have your friends and family collect them. You could do some cleanups. Or if you're wanting to make your squid skirt a little early, squid skirt, say that three times fast, <laughs> you might want to use something else. So you could use um, really, let's see, you could use pom-poms, you could use paint, you could use pennies. So there's lots of choices, okay? Okay, so you need your pool noodles, you need your bottle caps or something else to simulate um, sucker discs. You need rope or twine or string or something like that. You need one um, pipe cleaner, you need some scissors, and you need some hot glue, okay? Unless you're painting on your sucker disc, then you don't need any glue at all, okay? Okay, so the first thing we wanna do um, our make is to make our squid appendages, okay? And you may have remembered from our um, plastic bottle squid, uh, how many tentacles and arms they have, okay? So they have those eight arms, those eight oral arms that are completely lined with tentacles, and then they have those two long feeding tentacles that only have sucker discs on the end that they use to grab their prey and pull into their mouth, okay? So we're gonna make those. So you wanna take two of your um, pool noodles and cut them into four sections, okay? Now, you might need help cutting, um, but they actually cut pretty easy. So the first thing you wanna do is take two of your pool noodles and cut them in half. And the way I do that is I just kinda of take my scissors and shove them all the way through. Again, be very careful. And then you just kinda of cut, okay? And then do it on the other side too. So you just stick it all the way through and then cut. There you go. And then you're going to cut each of those halves in half, okay? Okay, so I have four of my arms. I'm going to do the same thing to this um, second one. We have a guest star today. <laughs> okay. It's okay if they're not all exactly the same size, but you can always trim them if you would like them to be a little more accurate. Again, it's much easier to shove the scissors halfway through rather than just try to cut the whole thing. Okay. All right, so now we have our four or our eight arms, okay? And then you want to make your two long feeding tentacles, okay? So it's up to you guys if you wanna use all the same color. Again, you guys know how I am. I like to get creative, use a bunch of different colors and try my best to do all recycled but that's totally up to you, okay? So this one is going to be for my two long feeding tentacles. So I'm just gonna cut this one in half. Okay. So now I'm going to simply 
glue on the sucker discs, okay? So their arms are lined completely with sucker discs, okay, on the underside of them, okay? So it's up to you how many you want to put on, but I'm going to just glue my bottle caps just all the way down. Now what's really neat is depending on the species of squid is going to depend on what the sucker discs look like, okay? Um, and some species actually have tiny teeth all around their sucker discs um, that they can even taste a little bit through those sucker discs, which is wild. So not only are they grabbing on to prey and actually hanging on to it, but they're kind of tasting a little with that as well, okay? So I'm going to glue the flat side down just because it's much easier to glue on. So I'm going to go through and I'm just going to randomly glue these all the way down. Okay. Typically all the, su the sucker discs are the same size down the arms, but again we're just having fun crafting. so. Different sizes, I think, are all right. Okay. There are so many different types of squid out there. They're just a really important piece of the marine ecosystem. A lot of cool things about them. I've now done two artsy segments on them, so you guys know how much I like them. Okay. Getting there. Oh, this is going to be so cool. It's done. Now, I forgot to mention, when you are gluing these on, you want to make sure that one end you leave at least a good inch and a half or so. Okay? At the top. Yes, look at that. All right, now I'm going to go through and just do that to all of the other arms. All right, everyone. Well, I've got my eight oral arms all covered with sucker discs. And now I'm going to add my sucker discs to my two feeding tentacles. Now, these guys are a little bit different. They're longer, and they only have those suction cups on the ends of their um, tentacles. Okay, so not all the way down like the arms. So a little bit different. So I'm going to take my bottle caps, and I'm just going to glue the sucker disc just at the end. doesn't have to be perfect. No exact distance that they need to go on. The way these guys, these work is if they see prey that they want to grab, they're going to send out the, the feeding tentacles first, okay? Reminds me of those like little slap handy toy things, you know, that you kind of like slap and like, pull it in. <laughs> That's what it reminds me of. Okay, one feeding tentacle and two feeding tentacles. Now depending on the species of squid, it's going to depend on what their actual prey is. Many of them actually eat other squid. It's like a giant squid is going to eat smaller species of squid. And then giant squid are actually preyed on by sperm whales, both creatures of the deep. And every now and then, on a sperm whale, you'll see a sucker disc scar. Because those giant and colossal squid have those tiny teeth on those sucker discs, and they can leave a mark. All right. Okay. Put this stuff to the side. All right, so now we have our all of our um, arms and our uh, feeding tentacles, okay? So now what we want to do is we want to create a place that we can thread the string, okay? So remember, we're just kind of making like a belt, almost like a skirt or something, um, that will go around our waist, okay? So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go through, and at the top... 
Okay, so you want to kind of line them up so they're all the holes are all in the same uh, space. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to line my tentacles, and my arms up, kind of with the tentacles facing the side. Okay, just because when we're wearing our tentacles, we want to be able to see the sucker discs a little bit. Okay, so even though they're on the underside of a squid. When we wear them, we're going to have them kind of to the side, okay? So when you're lining up your holes, you want to kind of make sure they're all in the same spot. It's funny, my arms get progressively bigger as I go up. <laughs> so what you want to kind of do is you want to separate because you want your, you're going to want your feeding tentacles to be on your sides, okay? And you're going to want your arms to be in the front and the back of your squid skirt, okay? So the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to have, basically there's going to be three, four, then my tentacle, okay. So the way I have it laid out, I have four arms, tentacle, four arms, tentacle, okay? Now I'm going to go through and I'm going to make the holes so I can thread the um, string through, okay? So I'm going to do this to each one and I'm going to thread it through to where the holes are on the sides of this. So that way you have your tentacles on one side, okay? So I'm going to just take my scissors. And I'm going to stick it all the way through. Again, be very careful and just kind of twist so we can create a hole. Okay. Now you can also use, um, with your parents' permission, you could use a awl, which is a tool to make holes. You could use a screwdriver. Okay. So just, you want to be safe. But you want to make sure those holes are kind of big. Okay. So I'm going to go through and I'm going to do that to each one of these um, tentacles and arms. All right, you guys, well, I put holes in the tops of all these using my scissors, okay? And then I decided to kind of switch up the order a little bit because, again, you're going to want your two feeding tentacles down to your sides, okay? So, and these four arms are going to be in the front. So now what you want to do is you want to take your string, okay, make it a little bit longer than your arms, Okay, and then what you're going to do is you're going to go through and just thread it through all those um, holes that you just created, okay? Now this requires some patience. <laughs> and I have found that if you can't seem to pull them through with just your fingers, one thing that you could do is you could take like a a pencil or something and tie the string onto the end and kind of push the pencil through first and that will help to easily thread that. I may end up having to do this with my alright so here we go so this is what you're gonna do all the way through now as you're going along, you're going to thread it through and push the ones um, that's, that are already threaded to the end. Now, so you don't push them all the way off, you want to create a loop in this end, okay? So, tie a knot down there, but leave a little loop, okay? That'll come in handy in a little bit. All right, so make sure you leave that little loop in the end. Then you can just kind of push down your tentacles and arms as you're going through. All right, so once you get your um, squid skirt threaded, okay, what you want to do is make sure that you have enough string that it's going to reach when you tie behind your back, okay? So you can tie on a little more string if you need to or cut some off a little bit if you need to. And then what you're going to do is you're going to make another hole, another loop at this end, okay? 
what we're creating with these loops are a way that you can take the um, squid skirt on and off without having to, to make a knot each time. Okay, so I'm going to tie these loops. Make sure they're nice and tight. Okay, and that's where your pipe cleaner is going to come in handy. So I'm going to cut this in half. Okay, I'm going to wrap it around this side. And you're going to do that to the other end. So now you have a way that you can actually tie them on, okay? So, let's try it on. Okay. It's work better if you have a friend to help you. <laughs> tie it around my waist. And then I'm just going to... I <laughs> wish you guys were here to help me do this. Oh, you know what? Let's do it this way. <laughs> okay. So, I'm going to tie it around the front like this, wrap this around my little pipe cleaners. So you don't really want to tie it because if you tie it, it might be hard to get off. Okay, and then when you turn it around, you've got a squid skirt, a squid skirt. Oh my gosh, check that out, how fun! You've got your feeding tentacles, so if you get hungry, grab some food. Let's see, I want to grab something with it. Oh, look at that. Is that a tasty prey? Yes. <laughs> so guys, using some simple materials, we now have some wearable art, wearable craft. We have our oil arms. Our feeding tentacles, and we are officially a squid for the summer. Everybody raise up your tentacles if you're ready for a great summer. I hope I see you all at Moat soon, and I hope you're having a wonderful day. This has been so fun. Turn that trash into treasure. If you make a squid skirt, please post it. Hashtag ArtsyWithMoat. We would love to see what you come up with. Bye, guys.